word about the use of color in preaching, making sermons colorful. You have to be careful with this. We're not talking about humor. Humor is but a poor supplement of eloquence. It is much more common, and the orator should not suffer himself to be ensnared by it. I have not personally read any book on homiletics, any book on preaching that says you should be funny in the pulpit to give color. That's not the kind of color that we're talking about. We're talking about metaphor. We're talking about helping them understand on the, with the ground of language that we give ourselves up to making Scripture understood by the way that we describe it, preach it, and convey it in a simple manner. Our natural condition is that of the people, and we must minister to the people in that way. So we must then, in a certain sense, speak like the people. And popular language from their day is often very metaphorical and helpful for them. But that doesn't mean that if the style of the preacher ought not to be serious, still less it should be frivolous. No. He could use imagery, but you do not want to destroy the gravity of preaching by being humorous or using popular language as a misused manner. For the same reason, we must exclude metaphors which show too much ingenuity and which incline to be jokesters in the pulpit. In general, wit and eloquence are hostile to one another, especially humor and sermons, with which there is every appearance of frivolity. You don't want to have humor for humor's sake because you think the people will like it. It's not about what they like. What prophet in Scripture ever did that? What, what did Jesus ever do? He used metaphors. He used illustrations that were scripturally grounded, and yet not a single laugh from the crowd, not a single humorous remark. Read the sermons of Jonathan Edwards. Read all of his sermons. Find a single witty line. There is none. He was with all gravity and seriousness about preaching the word as the word and doing it in a manner which might still be colorful. Consider sinners in the hands of an angry God. You are like a spider hanging by a web, a thin web over the flames. It's very colorful, but that's not humorous. It's not colorful in that manner. So you have to be a very, a very good orator in that way to press aside the temptation to be ensnared by humor for the sake of the people and rather be a master at using right colors and illustrations in a way which will help further the point that you have given in your sermon. Consider that and the use of color.